Hello guys, welcome to another top 10 video with your hosts, Zorn and Shaoling. And the others will be joining us in the next clip. Before we start this, guys, I just want to say that these lists that we're doing, they could be made up with more five stars, but it wouldn't be very variable if we did. We want to have a good balance in there, so we're chucking in three stars, four stars, and five stars. And remember, this is just our opinion. And if you have your own opinions or your own lists, please post them in the comments below. And without further ado, we're moving on to the list, guys. Okay, guys, starting off at number 10, we have a Megan. And the spell we want to look out for is the uh, third skill, Spell of Strengthening. Increases the attack gauge of all allies by 20%, increases attack power and defense for two turns. So, that's the move they use. Beef shot, like a beefy daddy, like I am in Sawn, as you can see. And we go in straight for the kill, daddies. So in our list, guys, this is the monster you'll most see. Comparable to Illusion in the last list we did. Her second move will remove beneficial effects, so it's really good versus Rena's and the like. And that's about all I have to say on this monster. She can do Dot as well, but it's only for one turn. Yeah, it's not well, really... Dark skill, baby. Yeah. But she's a good monster, and especially for the lower level players, easily attainable. Yeah. Moving on to the next monster on our list, guys. And moving in at number nine in our list, guys, this is Shannon, the poor man's Megan. Well done, that's all. Uh, she's an easy and obtainable one to get. She's a natural two star, so you newbies out there, easy peasy, get her, level her up. Get the old pep talk getting in there, that's what we look for. Increases your attack power and defense of all allies for three turns, baby. And her second skill, decelerate, will slow the enemies down, so combine that with her third skill, and you've got a slow ass yeah. enemy team. You've got a good team going on there. She though. will help she you out. She is the support of daddies. Mm -hmm. She's cute as well. She's the support of low level, poor man. Yeah. I'll kiss her. Next monster on our list, guys. Coming in at number eight in our list, Wind Undine. Yes. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her name, so we call her Del Boy. That's an English term. Sounds good to me. Right, okay. Third skill, solely. For the third skill, it's Spirit's Blessing. Removes all harmful effects on allies and granted immunity for two turns and recovering HP for 20% of the HP. And that, my friend, is a good third skill, baby. And that's why she's number eight in our list, guys. Uh, Not only does she heal, she removes all their beneficial effects, which means that they can't really lock you down. She's kind of like do anything a, to you. a fire archangel, but a poor man's. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's number eight. Angel's goofy cousin. <laughs> and number seven in our list. You all knew this was coming. The light bear man. Our oh, man. Our oh, man. Amen, brother. Amen. Our oh, man. And it's all down to his third skill. He, if he's paired with critical runes, he can heal his allies for twelve percent. You wanna, really you wanna put violent runes on this oh, guy. Yeah. Really totally. Hit, hit, hitting. He's like he's on Viagra. He's hitting it like a porn star. <laughs> Just make sure you've got good HP on him and you will totally wreck, guys. You want to be begging in the channels like a poor man. Especially on light day. We never skip light day. Never, baby. Number six in our list. The ultimate best monster in this game. As you, as you all know... If you've got one of these, you're a lucky bastard. I've got one, but anyway. Oh, he's got one. He's, he's obviously going to say it's really good. He is actually a very good monster, guys. His third skill, Sanctuary. It boosts your team's attack bar. It will remove beneficial uh, harmful effects. Yeah. And his second skill, Punishment, totally destroys, especially when paired with crit runes. Um, the builds are variable. You can go with whatever on this guy. You could go Violent. Yeah. You could go Endure. Uh, energy Don't and he grants immunity as well and guard skill. and he grants immunity on his third skill yes I forgot about that little, maybe. little detail you know, you know you need that immunity his, his first skill also deals three dots so he's really good for dungeons this makes him a universal support monster and finally guys good luck get him on next one you're going to get one the one thing you can't do though is beat meth well, I don't know about that. I've re-ruined him now. <laughs> He's powerful. Okay, guys, as it's now half time, we are switching our teams around. 
Hi. Just before we go, Jazz hands. I want to show you my ultimate ability. If you can just take the mic. Okay. Jeez. All right, give me a, give me a countdown. Three, two, one. one. Oh, look at those. Oh, Jesus. Oh. See you later, guys. Does he even lift? Let's go. <laughs> 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 so uh, this is a uh, halfway team, uh, half time. This is Meth here in the half time team. Lady here, just uh, bringing you the number five character, which is Meth. Counting down from number five to one, it's Bernard. So uh, with Bernard, as you see, is a wind character, and this is a really good character if you're making a, a wind team for uh, Arena. If you look at his leadership skill, it will uh, um, increase your attack power uh, of your ally mo monsters of wind attribute by, uh, what is it, 30%. Sorry, I haven't I got my glasses I think you'll on. find that this monster is used a lot in high-level Arena. Yeah, I mean, if you've got a Lucian with him, like uh, Sawn did on his um, other account, um, that would rock. The thing that makes him amazing support is the fact that he's got the move Tailwind, which increases your attack bar by 30%, and also the attack speed for two turns. This is just your allies as well. Yeah, so uh, he's pretty good, and he's really easy to get because he's a three star, so. You want to go with him swift runes, get him really fast so that he can take advantage of that third skill. Bringing you the next one, guys. At number four, we have Bella Dion, the Light in Agami. She looks pretty good. I've just been corrected. That is it a she, she or is it a he? Nobody knows. But there we go, guys. Uh, he, she. So, I mean, or Bella he. is pretty much a female name, but it you is. know. Maybe it's a gay dog. <laughs> the thing that makes this really good as a support is the mo move Mobilize, which fills the attack by all allies by thirty percent and recovers their HP, which is similar to the Wind Griffin. So you could uh, pair he or she up with a near with a light team and it would work pretty well. Another thing that support eyes is the seize move which removes all beneficial effects on a target. And his first move actually puts a debuff on so he's got three support moves. So you're pretty much a full support character guys. Oh. Free Akasis. So uh, she looks pretty cool as well, and I uh, think uh, then our uh, class got a six star used her uh, in dungeons, and she good. He's a real one in arena and a real tough and annoying. The move force field creates a shield which absorbs a major proportionate to your level of your allies for three turns, and decreases the chance of being attacked with a critical bit. At number two, the Fire Epicon Priest, Chloe. I used to have on my old account six starred before the little patch that happened when her skills got uh, debuffed a little bit. I actually got her recently and I've been trying to get her up. I know, uh, there's some people in that clan that have got like two or three of them. I wish there was a donate button. I'd love a fast Chloe and a slow Chloe. You yeah. know, that would wreck. So, why she makes number two is because of her third skill. Which is called Fanatic. On that skill, you become invincible for one turn. Used to be two, but still good enough. You want to make sure you put speed on her, so that's always popping first in Arena. You also gain immunity for two turns, which stops them putting any beneficial effects on I know that uh, everyone concentrates on her third skill, but actually her second skill is pretty good, Phil, which uh, I haven't got my glasses on, so Matthew will have to read it out. Well, it recovers the HP of two allies with the lowest HP by 25% and 15%. So she's a little healer as well, so... Also, okay. her leadership skill increases the defense of all ally monsters in the arena by 27%. So uh, she's pretty much a very good defense mon. Next, guys. <laughs> At number one we have Chase Sun, the Sky Wind Dancer. That's right guys, we brought you a new Mon to our list and she's first. Let's tell you why. 
Well, Zorn has her, hasn't he? Recently got her. Yeah, he's just five star that he was screaming over a minute ago. Well, the move Fallen Blossom balances the HP of and the attack gauge of a target ally and yourself, and it brings your HP to a higher amount than before. It's got a good uh, um, reusability thing, so it's four turns, so it's pretty good. You can bring it down to three turns. Oh, that's really good. And also she has a move called Amuse, which recovers the ally's HP by 20% and increases their attack power for two turns. And this is also can be brought down to three turns. That's basically like a better Megan. That is like a better Megan. That's why she's first and Megan's tenth. <laughs> Another move, Grateful Touch, can, um, let's see, it has a 30% chance to increase the enemy's chance of missing. So she will be amazing for Arena. She'll be trying to make all the enemies miss their turns and uh, boosting the attack power and just wrecking shit. So uh, if you get her, don't get rid of her. One thing to know, she doesn't have a leadership ability, but she's beast. She doesn't need one. And that's it, guys. Top 10 support mods. And guys, that brings us to the end of the list. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate all the support you guys give us. And we'll see you in the future top 10 videos and other videos from Game of Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. See ya.